Here is an easy yet effective way to match skin tone inside of Photoshop. Doesn't matter if it's a light skin tone or a dark skin tone. Plus, I'm going to be giving out the mask to action for free. And not just that, I'm going to show you how you can easily create the mask skin tone action yourself. Because I believe it's always good to know how to create the action yourself, just in case something happened to the one you downloaded. Let's jump right into it. Let's start with this dark skin tone right here. Now, before we make any adjustment, let's start by creating the action. Now, to do that, you come to your windows and you click on actions right here. All right. Now, from here, once your action load, click on this hamburger icon and click on this button mode. Once you check this button mode, you can choose to create a folder for it, which is a set. So, click on this folder icon right here and just rename this set, let's say T and hit OK. Now, from here, you can see we have the folder. After that, click on this plus icon. And it's going to show you to name the action. So I'm going to name this action skin tone correction. And from here, I can just assign any color I want. So I'm going to assign red and just click on record. All right. So I'm going to close the action. Click on this angle right here to hide it. All right. So right now, anything I do inside of Photoshop is being recorded as an action. Now let's match the skin tone. So the first step is to use the gradient map to sample color that is present in the shadow area. Also sample color that is present in the middle of the area and the color that is present in the highlights area. Okay. So I'll come to my adjustment layer. I'll click on my gradient map right here. Once I click on my gradient map, you can get a different gradient. It doesn't matter. So if I just click on this place right here and I come to basic, I can just click on this black and white gradient, maybe this one right here. It doesn't matter which one you selected. So I'm going to select this one. So once I select this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit on OK. Now from here, I'll change the blend mode from normal to color. Now after I change the blend mode to color, I'm going to come to this adjustment layer and invert the adjustment layer by pressing no Ctrl I to invert it. Now once I invert it, you can see we have the colors back on the image. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to open back my gradient layer. All right. So I'll just come to my windows. I click on properties to bring back my gradient properties. All right. So for me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the gradient. And right now you can see we have two dots right here for now, but I'm going to add another dot as the mid-tones. So we have this dot right here as a shadow and I'm going to click here and click on the dot again. And I'm going to change the location to 50 because it's for mid-tones. Okay. So right now you see we have three dots. Now this dot at the extreme end right here is for the shadow. Why the one I added, I'm going to use it as mid-tones. Why this one right here, I'm going to use it as highlight. So I'm going to click on this first one right here, which is for the shadow area. And you can choose to sample any color from here, or you can just click on this color tab right here and sample any color and just going to show you the color. And you can manually adjust the color of the shadow if you want. But I prefer you just sample any color from the shadow area. So I'm going to sample this part as a shadow and I hit OK and click on the mid-tones, sample this part right here as a mid-tones. Now, I'll click on the highlights and just sample this part right here as a highlight and I'll hit OK. Now from here, remember we are still recording. So I'm just going to end that recording right now. So I'll come to my action again and I'll click on stop. I'm just going to stop that recording. Now I'll click on my hangover icon, click on button mode. So right now if I scroll the way down, you're going to see the skin to commercial action has been loaded. So if I just delete this gradient map, which I did and just play this action like so, it will automatically play this action for me. So all I have to do is just open my gradient properties. So come to windows, click on properties with the gradient map selected and not the layer mask. If the layer mask is selected, this is what you are going to get. While if the gradient map is selected, this is what you are going to get. So for me, all you have to do is just open the gradient and just sample any colors in case you want to work on another image. So I've already sampled the color of the shadow, the mid-tones and the highlights for this image. What you can do, you can sample multiple color. So I'm going to add another dot right here and just sample any color close to the shadow. So I'm going to sample this color right here because it's close to the shadow. Also, I'm going to put another dot right here. And what I'm going to do with this dot, I'm going to sample any color that is close to the highlight and mid-tones. So I'm going to sample this color right here and hit okay once i feel i'm done i'm gonna hit okay 
like I said, you can sample multiple color from the image. But let this work for me. So I'm going to click on OK. Now from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my layer mask, pick my normal brush tool, make sure I'm using the soft hand brush. Very important. Opacity is here to 100, flow set to 100. And I'm just going to paint on the skin tool for this image. I'm going to zoom in and just paint the colors on only the skin tone. You can see, if I just show you the before after, you can see the skin tone right there has changed. So this is the before and the after. Now, if you want to see where you are painting on more, just change the blend mode for color to normal and just paint on the skin tool so that you can actually see where you are working on in real time. All right. So after you finish painting on the skin, you can go back later and change the blend modes to color. So for now, let's just put it on normal and just work on the image. Okay. Okay, so after I finish making the selection of the scale, what I'm going to do with this layer mask selected, I'm going to open my properties of the layer mask. Like I said, if you can find your properties, just come to your windows, click on properties right here. It's going to open. So I'm going to feather it a little bit just to smoothen out the edges. So like this works for me. I'm going to close the properties. So from here, I'll change the blend mode from normal to color. All right, so let me just zoom in so you can see the before. Sorry, so let me zoom in so you can see the before and after. So, see the before and the after, the before and the after. And if you feel it's too much, what you can do, just double click on this empty layer right here or just right click once and open the blending option. And from here, just hold alternate and split the highlight and just take it down a little bit like this and hit OK. All right. Now, after that, just come to your opacity and just reduce the opacity a little bit to about 70. So, see the before and the after. The before and the after. And if you feel it's still too much, you can just go down a little bit. Another way to do it, instead of coming to this blend if option, you can just take this place back, hit OK, and just reduce the opacity down to about 20% or 30%, depending on what works for you. So, I feel 40% works for me for this image. So, see the before and the after. The before and the after you can see the skin tool are looking even right now so if this 100 percent and just play with the opacity until you feel it's okay so this is for the dark skin let's do the same thing for the light skin right here so remember we already created an action for it so i'll come to my action i'm going to click on skin tone action and by the way if you need this action i believe in a liquid you can get it in the screen below so once i play that action i'm going to close the action tab so Open these properties for the gradient map and not the not the layer mask. Make sure the gradient is selected. Not the layer mask is very very important. All right. So with the gradient selected, I'm going to click here. Like I said earlier, just click on the shadow area, which is this place. Sample any color from the shadow. Click on the mittens. Sample any color from the mittens. Click on the highlights. Sample any color from the highlights. And like I said, you can add multiple colors. I'm going to add one more. So I'm going to sample from here. Sample any color close to the middles and the shadow. So like this. So I'm going to click here. Sample any color close to the highlights and the middles. So let's say here like this. I'm going to click on OK. So I'm going to hide my properties. Come to the layer mask. With my normal brush tool selected, I'm going to paint on only the skin. Right there, you can see we are not actually seeing what you are painting on because the blend mode is on color. So to see what you are painting, just change the blend mode from color to normal and just paint for now. And after you finish painting, just to make sure your painting is accurate, you can go back and change the blend modes to color. So I'm just going to paint on the skin. Another person on the skin, with the layer mask selected, I'm going to open up the properties and just feather it a little bit from here. And just take the blend mode from normal to color. And from here, you can choose to reduce the opacity. But in some rare occasion, you can leave the blend mode to normal and just reduce the opacity a little bit like so in some rare occasions but for now i'm going to change the blend mode to color and reduce the opacity because it works for me so see the before and the after the before and the after now that you know how to mask into how about retouching click here to watch how you can retouch your image i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative